All right, I want to talk about frame rate. I've been trying to get this game, American Truck Simulator, to run at a faster frame rate. So, what I found out is there's nothing you can do. You can boost it, you can change settings in here, nothing really matters. And I'm going to tell you what only thing that does matter. It, it, you can change the resolution from 720. As a matter of fact, I got videos here showing it in 720 playing. This is completely game running in 720. And you see, when you get to the populated areas, like um, let me turn the sound down, you see the frame rate just drops to nothing. When you get to city areas, look, I'm at 18, you see right here in the corner, 18, 19 frames per second. This is, I mean, it's, the hard, it's not even playable. Look at 17, 16 frames per second. This was recorded with the game in, it's even worse when you put it in window mode. I was doing it in window mode at 720. And it's even worse. I get better frame rate in full screen mode. But then it doesn't matter if you put it in 720, 1366, 16 by, you know, 900. It doesn't matter. So you might as well put it in the normal screen size, full screen, that you, whatever you come with. You know, like mine right now is 1920 by 1080. So I can put it in 1920 by 1080 and get the same frame rate putting it in 720 and if you put it in the window mode then I lose frame rate so what I noticed about the game if you switch the views from the cab view view to just the road view the frame rate shoots up it's something with the cab view you can even move the cab if you move the cab where you're moving your seat backwards, you lose frame rate. If you move it more toward the front, you get a higher frame rate. And I'm going to show you that. I went through all these settings in this uh, NVIDIA thing here. I went and saw a video online. They said put this on, you know, your card. You go through all these settings here. I did the, all the settings that they said for performance didn't change anything I went ahead and put it back on default to see if there's any difference no difference did nothing so then I went to this thing and I tried the different modes here overclock mode gaming mode doesn't do anything I even uh, boosted the clock up uh, 200 on this one and see where would I boost it about 200 on that one and I put 200 on this one Clock speeds did go up. Temperature stayed about the same. Didn't notice any. I also had uh, the, whatchamacallit, running. And to watch the temperatures, <clears throat> didn't notice anything, uh, you know, getting out of range of the temperatures. But <clears throat> no frame rate different. Did not uh get back into the populated areas and you know frame rate drops still the same doesn't you know it might help it one or two you know i can it's hard to tell because it's such a low if it is helping it's probably one or two frames so it, it's not something you can really measure because you know the frame rate's totally it's bouncing around and you're never in the same scene but you see all these videos I did I was doing different tests putting different setting I would change one setting test it again run it again record it again and what I found out it don't matter the resolution you put it doesn't matter the boost it doesn't matter all of these settings in here it doesn't matter. It it kind of matters the uh, the uh, resolution as far as you know you put in the game setting on high or low or stuff like that. But if you put it on low, it, yeah, it might come up just a little bit, but it, it's still not playable. 
it'll, it'll never get you that high so uh, none of these settings here work this doesn't do nothing this doesn't do anything now uh, tried all that um, what else can I show you here this was done in total 720 and you see how it is just horrible and you see when I get to unpopulated areas which means no cities or anything like that it runs real smooth the frame rate will go up let me see this one's showing the frame rate thing some of them I put I was putting it on different capture mode if you see the frame rate thing up here it was captured this was window mode so it was capturing that little uh, thing and you'll see that the frame rate is at 60 frames per second out in nowhere land there's no there's no population there as soon as you get to city areas or anything with population to it you see how it drops to 30 and then when you start getting closer in the city it'll drop to nothing let's see right here like this one right here we're at 16 frames a second because it's a real populated area 15 frames a second and it's just running horrible look at that and then as soon as you get out of the populated area it starts going higher and I don't care what resolution you're on it might help one or two frames a second but it's still not playable I don't care if you put the settings all the way to low, put the, the thing on 720. And this was in window mode here. This is actually dropping my frame rates because it's in Windows mode. If it wouldn't, the frame rate actually goes up a lot just coming out of window mode. I don't know why that is, but the, if, I, if I was doing the same scene right here, you see how it is uh, 20 frames a second? If I was doing this same scene right here in full screen mode with the same resolution, it would be at 40 frames a second. I actually gain about 20 frames a second just being in full screen mode. So that is kind of weird. Window mode does not work. You lose frames per second. That's what I found out. So a lot of tests I did. So um, I'm going to fire up the game and I'm going to show you... Uh, let's see if I can move that. Need me. Anyway, I'm going to show you moving the cab and the different frame. Now, you see the frame rate thing up there 60 frames a second inside here. Now we're just going to go to drive. I think I just finished a job. Yeah. And I hardly ever see it get over 60 frames a second. Mm, I think I've seen it 61. So. Okay. So. Now you see we're at 36 frames a second. Okay. I'm going to move the. Let's see. How do you move the cab forward? Uh, wrong button there. Was it this one? Four okay now let's just move in and M. let's move it this way and now you see the frames 20 frames a second now let's do that again we'll move it the other way Get right in your face. Now we're at 61, 60 frames a second. Just by moving the seat. Ain't that amazing? So you gotta have to find a spot that, you know, it's usable but not too in your face. So there are your 32 frames a second. Now watch this. If I just change the views. This view gets me at 60 frames a second. 34, this one's at 60, that one's at 60, that one's at 60, and back down to 30. So it's something with this cab view that just totally drops the frame rate. 
and if I just move the cab um, move to this view right here I get 60 frames a second and that one's 60 frames a second I don't know what it is but that's what it is and you see this one is 50 frames a second right here now watch this go back to the cab view and now I'm at 30 frames a second just by moving it to the cab view Seventeen. I'm at eighteen, twenty, and if I move it to this view, <clears throat> let's see what it'll go up to now. Twenty-eight, twenty-eight frames a second. Move a little bit here. Twenty-seven frames a second. Go back to the cab view. 22 23 or just try that again 34 27 it's very strange I don't know what it is but it, I, I can't get this thing to uh, give me any good frame rate they don't care if I boost it, the resolution, anything. So let's just go ahead and get out of this. Um, there, it, and it's really weird that just by moving the seat, you see I'm at 26 frames a second there. And if I move the seat, I'm at 45, 47, 46. And let's try it again. See, about 75 is a good view, though. And let's see what it drops to now. It went up. 53. Okay, I don't know why it went up now. Try it again. 53. Forty-seven. Yeah, it just drops it. So, oh yeah, it went up because uh, I moved it forward. That's right. Moving it up, moving it up, uh, drops it. So that should drop it right there to fifty-one. And if I go up more, then uh, I can't see the frame. Let's back it up a little bit. 57, 60 frames a second, 58. But that's just too close and it's hard to drive like that. Seems like 75 is a good uh, spot because then I at least get to see my mirror. So that's what I found out. And it doesn't matter. Um, this matters you can start dropping this but the game looks so horrible that it really is not it's not helping it you know it's it's still when you get in those populated areas it still messes you up it still gets all real low frame rate so there's no sense in dropping that you once you get past this 125 here it looks really horrible and you can start turning these things off i got this on low got this on low i got these off i got this low these medium medium low i got this one high because this one doesn't do nothing it's just a mirror distance uh, i got this filtering all the way off uh, light views this one doesn't hardly do anything i turned the best uh, pedestrians off uh, these don't do anything I, you know i've been in here tried all these settings and if you change it you can go all the way down uh i went all the way down to this 720 right here all the way here doesn't do nothing 
you put it in uh, window mode then you'll lose frame rate <laughs> so I guess we're gonna get out of that um, that's what I found out there's nothing you can do I mean if you you know you drop it to nothing the game will look horrible and it's still not playable especially when you get into these populated areas the frame rate still drops so uh, then I went online I was like what's going on here and I saw this guy talking about a, a video comparing uh, Euro truck simulator to American truck and he said there's something wrong with American truck because the Euro, Euro truck simulator uh, has higher frame rates on the same equipment so maybe there's something wrong with this game uh, the other games that I've played that should play just as you know I, I don't know this I don't know if it's just that heavy a game or what but um, I mean look at it it's unplayable with this uh, card that I have so I don't know um, he's thinking that this guy in this video is thinking there's something wrong with the game because Euro Truck, he, he compared them in Euro Truck Simulator, gets a much higher frame rate than the American Truck Simulator, which is kind of strange. Um, and I'll, I'll find that video. I'll leave the the link to that one in the uh, description below. So uh, I don't know. I've been through all these settings. I cannot figure it out. And oh, you probably saw my stream. I did a stream, a live stream. Just I did to even broadcast it that way because I was being told that streaming was would be better. So I did it uh, without recording. I went through the stream, and so I set it up to YouTube to catch the stream. And I did that stream recording. I was doing a test. Y'all, some of you probably seen that stream, and were commenting on the um, what's it called? The message thing. But I wasn't. Uh, I was just playing the game. I didn't see the messages, so I apologize to anybody that was. Uh, what's it called? The chat thing. Um, I, didn't, I didn't have the chat window. I was just playing the game in full screen and letting it um, uh, upload to the stream, uh, YouTube stream, to see if the quality was any better. And it was not any better. It was actually worse. So, um, I guess I'm going to give up on this. So, you see there how horrible that looked. 20 frames a second and this is you know it's a little better I mean a touch better not recording but it's still not playable it's horrible so I guess I'm gonna wrap this up here if you all have any suggestions uh, put them in the comments below I'd like to hear it so I guess I'm gonna wrap this up here all right I'm out